Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the Dad Racer Dungeon of Demolition. It's been a busy last couple of weeks. We had some extended family in town. We had a great time. Uh, very, very tired catching up on some sleep. And during that time, we had some more water in the basement, hence the uh, destruction zone we have going on here. Uh, much, much needed rest uh, coming up, but um, I'm happy to be back and to be doing a video for you today. We've acquired a few things through the mail, through some trades, through Craigslist, and even through eBay. So uh, happy to get into that with you. Uh, but first, need to relax a little bit. So uh, cheers. Thank you again for tuning in. I wonder how that's picking up on the microphone. Uh, yeah, so I hope everybody's been doing well. All right, let's get into it. First thing we have here today, uh, this is from Craigslist. This was posted nearby for $15. Should have taken it out of the uh, grocery store bag first. Uh, but we got a couple of games here to start. A couple of Game Boy games. Pac-Man for the Game Boy. And uh, here's a rare one. Elmo's ABCs for the Game Boy, or Game Boy Color, actually. Uh, but this is what caught my eye. We have a Mad Cat's case, and guess what's inside there? It's a Game Boy SP Silver. However, it is protected even further by a leather, what is this? Pelican case. So it powers on. Does it? There we go. Ah. Yeah, it's just the AGS-001. It's not the upgraded screen. But for $15, the games and the silver Game Boy SP, that's not something I'm going to pass up, especially if it's close by. If I have to drive an hour for it, mm, not so much. So that was a Craigslist find, and further proof that Craigslist is not dead after all. That's always good to see. Now let's get into some packages here. Uh, I covered up everything as far as the label on these, so I can't remember. I'm going to try my best to remember where they came from. Like, for example, this I'm pretty sure is from eBay. Yes. Okay. So let's crack into that with the one of the trusty knives over here. I've been on the lookout for this for a long time. <sighs> yep. It's Streets of Rage 2 for the Sega Genesis, or for our friends overseas for the Mega Drive. Been on the lookout for that for a while, and I got a good deal on that through eBay, believe it or not. Somebody was caught sleeping. Uh, hopefully it works. We'll try it on an upcoming playthrough very soon. Uh, so happy to get that in the collection. That's kind of like a beat-em-up must-have, right, for the Sega Genesis. Super, super happy about that. I've been trying to bolster up the Sega Genesis collection a bit, so that's a must-have. I mean, I don't have to tell you anything special about that. Okay, what is this? Oh, yes, okay, this is, in fact, another eBay. Funny thing, <clears throat> fan of the show, Josh. Um, from time to time, I'll do uh, Let's Plays on the show, and then I'll ask for recommendations. I got a recommendation from Josh to play this game. Um, but the biggest coincidence, I had already had this game coming to me in the mail from eBay. So this is going to be uh, sort of on deck for us as far as playthroughs go through. Um, once our basement situation gets figured out, 
We are going to be playing this game, if I could ever crack into it. I want to do it without slicing my hand open. That'd make for a good video, wouldn't it? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at it. Yep. I've never played this one before. I've never played it before. It's Silver Surfer on the NES, which is notoriously difficult. I love shooters. Uh, this, I believe, is horizontally and vertically scrolling stages, but the difficulty, it sits up there. So this is going to be fun to try out for the first time. I do not plan on playing it in the meantime. I'm not going to be practicing or anything like that. I'll probably clean the contacts, make sure they work, and we are going to be playing this for the first time together very, very soon. Silver Surfer on the NES. Josh, uh, if you're out there, thank you for the suggestion. We're going to be playing that very soon. All right, what is next? We're going to save this large package for last. We are going to go next to this fancy orange bubble-wrapped package. This happened, coincidentally enough, this is from Josh, who I just mentioned. And I did a trade with him, fellow collector and fan of the show. Uh, what did I trade him? Uh, I believe I traded him a Sony PlayStation 2, a J DualShock 2 controller for a couple of games. For a couple of games. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's in here. So, yes, if I remember... Oh, look at that. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. Little bubble wrapped action going on. And I see... I don't know what's going on in here. Let's crack into this without damaging anything. Yeah, I know one of the things that's in here. I know a couple things. I thought there were only two things that uh, I got here. Okay. <laughs> funny, funny stuff. Okay, so the first thing, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Let me take it out of the protective case. Uh, I believe there's several, according to Josh, Game Boy Advance games. Uh, t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games for the Game Boy Advance. This is the first one, TMNT. Yeah, just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one. Never played this, never looked up any footage. It's a Konami game, so it can't be that bad, I don't think. Very excited about that. Thank you. And uh, a Sega Genesis game. Some people are going to do a double take, but I'll tell you about this in a second. This is, what is this called? Ah, Crusader of Senti for the Sega Genesis. And um, before, you, before you go there, it's a reproduction. Uh, according to Josh, this is a repro. I looked this up. This is like some crazy high dollar value type game. So, uh, one two three gamer man did a video recently about his take on reproductions, and he had a lot of good comments, a lot of good discussion. Uh, Joel from the Poor Man's Retro Game Room <clears throat> did a video response to that. I'll I'll leave a link uh, down there in the description for those. Um, my opinion on it, I, of course, I don't know how the real game looks like. I'm not as familiar with Sega Genesis as, as a lot of other people. Um, but my take on it is, you know, it's nice that it's nice if there's maybe a differentiating factor on the cartridge itself. So just in case it falls into the wrong hands, somebody doesn't try to pass it off as a real one. You know, this game, I don't know how much a reproduction of this costs. Let's say it's five, ten, fifteen dollars. Let's say it's even forty dollars. Well, that would be bad news if somebody tries to sell it for five hundred, right? Uh, so a lot of good discussion. Obviously, it's good to have the um, proper screwdriver to open up the uh, open up the cartridge. We obviously have that. Not that I need to, because I didn't pay five hundred dollars for this. But um, you definitely want to check the board to make sure it's legitimate. Another thing I want to talk about, at least for me, is that um, in case I forget in the future, I, I won't, but um, I use GameEye, uh, which is an app for iOS, and I believe also for Android, that I use to track my game collection. And I'll show you a little snippet of what I'm going to do 
I, I have all my games cataloged and I'm going to create a tag for reproduction for this game. This I believe is my first reproduction game. There's a couple others that I have had my eye on for uh, the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Haven't pulled the trigger on them yet, but I'm going to tag this in my database app as a reminder that it's a reproduction uh, so that I don't make the mistake down the road. And, you know, for now, that's about the best I can do. Because to me, I mean, it looks like, right? Doesn't it look like the real thing? I don't really know. But thank you for, for that, Josh, uh, and the long-winded explanation there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, from what I understand, this is sort of an action-adventure game, maybe like a Legend of Zelda type game. That's going to be fantastic and fun to play. I really look forward to that. And um, we also got one of these. Uh, I don't know what this is, so we're going to crack into that together. Oh, look at that. It's another Game Boy Advance game. Donkey Kong Country, one of my favorite games for the Super Nintendo. And now we have a portable version of it. I love it. Thank you so much, Josh. You really shouldn't have. Surprise game. Always love to see that. Uh, that's very nice of you. Thank you so much. That's great. You not, definitely knocked it out of the park with that package. Thank you so much. And now the last box here. This box here, uh, where you saw the, uh, the daggers flying through it in the beginning of the video, comes from Linden of uh, Old School Games and Stories. Another member of our Retro Gaming Roundtable group. What did I send him? Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember. I sent him Mario Paints for the Super Nintendo and... Uh, Jedi Starfighter for the original Xbox, and he sent me a Super Nintendo game. However, I don't know if you're uh, familiar with Super Nintendo games, but uh, something is amiss, okay? Something is suspiciously off here because he was supposed to send me a Super Nintendo game. And just as an added uh, check, Here's my wife's baking scale. Let's see, a Super Nintendo game weighs 3.4 can't really see with my glasses, my sunglasses. 3.4 ounces. Okay. And for our friends across seas, that is about 96 grams. All right. This box. Is like 1250 grams. So something uh, something is seriously wrong here and I'm a little bit scared. Okay, let's do it. What do you say? Crack into our last package here. I lost the knife. There's the knife. I don't know what you got going on over here, Lyndon. I don't know if I should, um, I don't know if I should be wearing like a rain poncho when I open this up or what. Gloves, I'm cutting towards me. Don't try this at home, kids. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so once again, I sent him Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. That's actually all he wanted, but um, I decided to throw in an extra game there. Jedi Starfighter for the original Xbox. And uh, then he, then, then this, then this two pound thing, maybe three pounds, showed up on, on our doorstep in return. So here it is. Lots of, a uh, lot of mystery with this one. Okay. Jeez, there's multiple things going on. Okay, we have this. This weighs a ton. We have this. That's lightweight. Something it looks to be in there. And then we have this. That's probably the game. And then there's the box. Okay. Let's crack into the 
what I believe is the game for first. How about that? Okay. All right, there it is. Good looking copy. Joel out there in uh, poor man's retro gaming roomville. You might be jealous of this one. I know how you like these types of games. It's Mech Warrior for the Super Nintendo. Uh, that caught my eye. Never played it before. Never seen game footage. But it was a mech game, and I knew it would make Joel jealous, so that's why I decided to trade for that. Okay, one more sip of some, uh, some of Mario's finest beer here. <sighs> okay. Uh, should I open the lightweight one or the extremely heavy one first? Ah, I don't know. Okay, let's let's open this one. We're gonna go with the heavy one. Right. This is exciting. I don't know what this could be. A note would have been helpful. Maybe a uh, a how-to guide on what we should expect here. But he just wanted to leave it a mystery, I guess. Okay, you know what? Here's the lightweight one. We got a, a Ziploc inside of some bubble wrap. Okay. It's like a couple of cords. Oh, I do believe I know what's going on here. Okay. Right, right. Lyndon, you made a video recently about, what is it, the Aurora Fossil Museum? Do I have that right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Where people go and they see shark tooth fossils, right? Megalodon fossils? Please correct me if I'm wrong so I don't sound like an idiot. Or I should say so I don't sound more like an idiot. Okay, wow, look at that. Look at that. So cool. Okay, awesome. Look at that. This must be some kind of... Uh... This is a shark tooth necklace, obviously. Thank you so much, Lyndon. That is awesome. That is so cool. Lyndon, you're always uh, sporting your... Your Megalodon or your Shark Tooth uh, necklace over on your channel. So, uh, link below, by the way. Your channel's going to be down there, obviously. And then something for the kid. How about that? Thank you so much. This could be... What is this? Okay, look at that. That's like a baby Shark Tooth. How about that? Awesome. She's going to love these. A pink one and a yellow one. That is very, very thoughtful. Thank you so much. I'm going to show her that today. She's going to absolutely love it. Thank you very much. That's very thoughtful. That's awesome. You did not have to do that, but I really, really appreciate it. Thank you again. And by the way, uh, now I'm not sure. There's something There's something rattling around in here. Uh, it feels like sand. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> You did leave me a little bit of a clue, didn't you? Uh, but I wasn't too sure what you meant. You said you're not responsible for any mess. Let's find out what it was. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> what am I looking at here? This is a bag of rocks and sand. Am I supposed to... I think I know what we're going to have to do. Are we going to have to uh, put this in some kind of a container and let my daughter uh, dig and sift through this? Is that, the, is that the plan? Is that the intent here? Look at that. I'm going to have to leave a link uh, for a little bit of context because Lyndon did this video on Jaws. I believe it was part one of Jaws where he went to the Fossil Museum, Aurora Fossil Museum. I hope I have that right. 
and uh, he showed us kind of how that works. And I think uh, they almost they have like a pit across the street from it, I think, and they just let people, you know, dig through dig through this pit and look for fossils. So I think what you've done here is you've created that for me to try. That's pretty neat. Thank you very much. That's cool. The kid's going to love that. The kid's going to love that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'll get like a bin for her to do that. She's going to love it. And I think that's everything, right? Is that the end of our video? I believe so. We've got some eBay trade, uh, eBay buys. We've got some Craigslist stuff. We've got some uh, trade group stuff. And we've got some shark tooth necklaces. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Lyndon. Thank you so much to everybody. Uh, let's see if I can put this on here. Look at that. There we go. Once again, everybody, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I really appreciate it. I uh, look forward to doing more trades and to make videos for you uh, soon in the future. We've got some gameplays coming up. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Take care.